Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another update for the 2020 Vision Project. This is a project that was organized by Hayley from Makeup Tips 102 and Elizabeth from Cookie Pants as well as Paula from A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It. The first two are just on Instagram and Paula is on both Instagram and YouTube. So the purpose of this project, and I know I've already explained this to you guys many times, but just in case you're new, the purpose is to finish off 20 makeup products and 20 beauty products before the end or the beginning even of 2020. So we don't have that much time anymore. Um, let's go right in because I've actually got three empties this time and I'm really happy about it. And there is makeup in here as well. Yes, we're getting there. Okay, so first of all, the beauty items, just because I've only got two and one of them is now finished. So just start off with the finished item. This is the solid perfume that I was working on. And right now it is completely empty and I'm really happy about it. Um, yeah, I'm happy about it. So it was nice, but um, it was a little bit older and you could notice that in the sense that the scent would wear off quite quickly. So I'm happy that it's gone, but I did like it when I used it. It kind of brought me back to kind of the time when I bought this when I was a little bit younger still. So, yep, that is that one. The other beauty product that I'm still working on is the Image Skin Care Clear Cell Clarifying Pads. And I am using these. I'm cutting them up into quarters, as you can see, one right there. Um, I feel like I'm getting close to halfway on this one, but I'm not using it enough. I still don't think to actually get this one completely empty by the end of the year. Uh, I'm using it consistently. I'm trying to use it every other day now that I've finished off the um, kind of retinol mask, overnight retinol mask that I was using before because I don't have that one somewhere in between anymore. So it's moving a little bit quicker, but I've still got quite some um, paths to go. So let's see how far we can get. <laughs> but that's the last beauty product that I still have in this project. So that's 19 beauty products already done. Only one more to go and we've still got six months. So maybe I'll surprise myself. Anyway, moving on to the makeup items. I've got six items I think I've got to talk to you guys about today. So let's take a look at them. Uh, first of all, we've got the Pow Polish from Sleek in uh, Sugar May from the Evoir La Peche collection. Um, also for this one, the pan has expanded. I've been working on this one mainly over the last two weeks for like the lip balms that I've been using. So I managed to expand the pan, expand the side pan, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, still got quite a way to go, but it's, it's getting a little bit more slanted. So hopefully this won't take me another six months to finish off. Um, let's see. Okay, we are talking lip products. So let's just keep talking lip products if I can get the cap back on. Um, I used this one. This is the Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in Apocalyptic. And this is the bright pink that I'm actually wearing right now. Um, I've only used it five times. This is the fifth time. So it's nothing major, but I actually managed to get some uses in, which is what I wanted to do more over summertime because this is quite a bright kind of summery tint in my opinion. So I like using it. Um, got some compliments on it as well, which is always nice. Uh, but of course, there is no progress I can show you yet. Five uses and a lip lacquer. This is going to take some time. But I'm using it. It is sort of in my rotation right now. I've, I'm kind of trying to put this one on in the morning and then just bring something with me that is a little bit easier to reapply um, for during the day. But yeah, it's moving. So that's good. And then I have one more lip product to show you guys. And that is the Catrice, um, what is it? Absolute Moisture Lipstick in Lovely Rose. I have used this, but not as much on my lips. I've been using this as a cream blush lately. Um, I feel like it's just a little bit too metallic -y for me to actually like putting this on my lips a lot. So I noticed I wasn't really gravitating towards it. So I thought, why not use it as a cream blush? Because I finished off the lipstick that I was using as a cream blush. So this could be a good replacement for that. So that's what I'm doing. And I actually managed to make a little bit of progress on it that way. I feel like if I keep going like that, I will finish this one off at the end of the year just by using it as a cream blush. But I might even uh, use it as a lipstick as well every now and then as that is what it's actually meant for. So yeah, some progress on that one as well. Then we're going on to, I guess, the eye products that I'm working on. This is the Miss Helen um, eyeshader pencil. And as you can see, I've only got the light side left, which means I finished off the dark side completely now there really isn't that much left of this anymore as you can see as well 
and I probably won't be able to sharpen this like all the way down because at a certain point I won't be able to grab this anymore to actually move it in the sharpener. So I feel like maybe next update, but definitely in two updates this one will actually be done. So really excited about that one. One product done and one product close to being done. So that is that one. And then another product that I finished is this Makeup Forever eyeshadow in M536. I use this in my brows and kind of as a bronzer as well and it is completely empty now. I'm pretty happy about that as well. I do still need to buy a new bronzer actually because this was the only bronzer that I had left. I'm using another eyeshadow in my brows now which actually I like better. It's from the Naked palette actually, let me <laughs> show you guys while I'm at it. Um, I'm using Naked in my eyes right now. It still has a little bit of warmth to it but it's not as warm as this Makeup Forever eyeshadow was and I think that looks a little bit better in my brows, a little bit more cool tone but there still is a little bit of warmth to my hair as well so this is a good combination with my hair color I think um, but I can't really use that as a bronzer because it's too much in the middle of all these other things so I definitely need to buy something that I can use as a bronzer instead but yeah that is the progress that I've been making. Um, I'm pretty happy to have finished off three more items. I've still got loads of makeup products to work through. Most of them would be lip products as well, although I've got some eyeshadows and a blush and a highlighter in there as well that I uh, need to get to work on as well. Um, yeah, I don't think I will be able to finish everything off, but I'm trying. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna definitely try to use this one more and I'm gonna see if maybe I can even finish this one by next time. So we'll see. That is it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow along with any of my other projects or this one specifically, if that's the one that you really, really like. And that is it. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.